is it with this brutal Bob Evans? Does he like to get beat up by Max Moon every other week? And there's your twin brother, James E. That is not my twin brother. My twin brother's at home. Don't you dare worry about my twin brother. Hey, look, it's Carrot Cupcake. He's back. The Cajun Cupcake son is back in action and ready to take another beat from Max Moon. Brutal Bob is sure to come after you. Much as you threatened me with the Slayer Brothers, he may come after you. Oh, yeah, like I'm really worried. And here we go, Max Moon entering the ring area. The spaceship has landed and is ready for action here in the New England Wrestling Federation. Do you like Max Moon? I do appreciate the ability that Max Moon has, yes. Very unusual, the unpredictable James E. Max Moon warming up here, stretching his legs. I don't know how he wrestles in that uniform, though. I, st I appreciate the fact that the man has ability, the man has talent, but you still have to wonder how he wrestles with that mask on. Max Moon getting ready to take on Brutal Bob Evans. Brutal Bob Evans has a very strange attitude. Not quite as bad as nails, but he still has Just a, a very strange individual, that's all. Max Moon flipping around the ring area here. We are ready for some action here in the New England Wrestling Federation. Referee Rick Lannon, as usual, is the official here at ringside. Hey, Richie's back. Richie's back. Where's Mr. Hathaway? Mr. Hathaway will be in the main event, which you will see next week. Axe versus Richard Charlin from the New England Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship. And don't you dare miss that match with some exciting action and a twist of fate, if you will, at the end. A twist of fate? A twist of fate. You, you hear me or what? Okay, I hear you. I hear you. We have Max Moon. Explain it. If I explain it, it gives away next week's show, dummy. As you know, if you've watched Pile Driver from the beginning, Axe fought for the heavyweight championship belt with the model Rick Martel challenging him and Richard Char Charland, or Charlotte as they say in Canada. Charlotte. Charlotte interfered and this gave birth to this particular uh, event that you'll be seeing next week. Right, and you will see that matchup and there might just be some interesting things that happen on that. But if I gave it away, then the people don't need to bother watching next week, and then the TV station and me will not be happy. So don't be doing those things. These matches were recorded at Plymouth State College in New Hampshire. Right, and, and you've been seeing bits and pieces of that show for the last couple of weeks. Right. And next week you will see that main event, Richard Charlander against Axe Demolition. Look at this. Nice reversal by Max Moon. Throws him to the canvas. Evans, I don't think, knows what's going on right now. He's backing out right now. Evan reminds me a lot of Iron Mike Sharp. He kind of loses his temper in that ring, and he suffers for it. Well, you know, it takes a lot of uh, concentration to be a wrestler in the ring today, and you've got a lot of concentration there on the face of Max Moon, and Evans, I think he just loses concentration a bit. Very good point, because wrestling today is far different than wrestling, say, like in 1960. More high-flying moves, more impact moves, more high-impact moves. That way, you have to be ready for anything. Before, it used to be mostly rest holds. You throw the person right. into the ropes. It was a more slow version of what you have today. Wrestling matches could last up to two hours, or maybe even more. Now, a 15-minute match is such high impact and high flying moves that it that it's almost like a two hour match. I would like to have seen Max Moon say against some of the wrestlers of the past, like maybe Bruno San them. Martino. He would have killed those well, wrestlers. Not Bruno because San of the fact that no, maybe not Bruno San Martino, but the fact that his high flying moves most of the time would have negated any power that they had. Killer Kowalski, Bruno San Martino, Don Leo Jonathan, that would have been a great, great match between him and Max Moon. Killer Kowalski against Hmm, against Max Moon. Hairpiece versus hairpiece. I don't know what you're talking about. Brutal Bob has Moon in the corner, and he... Is that a fist to the face? No, it's not. Close fist. Oh, he's Max got him with Moon, a headlock now. Um, he, his hand hurts him. Does that mean Max Moon's headgear might have something inside it? No, I think what it is is I think Brutal Bob Evans, all of his brains are right in that right hand of his. When he hits it, it hurts him. Moon. Are you paying attention to what's going on I'm here? I'm studying what's going on in this seemingly rest hole. Well, the fans hole. at home are going, what are we doing? Pay attention. This is a rest hole, very rare in a Max Moon match. That very, Moon very had rare. him in a headlock, and now Max Throws Moon is in the corner, feet. whips him across the ropes. You tell Show me to talk. Wait a minute. You tell me to talk, 
And then when I want to talk, you talk. Feel free, take over. Very unprofessional. Take over. All right. Rick Landon, as Max Moon has risen to his feet by touching a hip toss over the corner, he's got a headlock on him. You jerk. You're a jerk, James E. That's your problem, not mine. Okay, Brutal Bob's strategy is to keep Max Moon on the, on the mat. Well, of course, with a high flyer like Max Moon, you want to keep him to the mat as often as you can, as uh, long as you can, because that'll negate you having the problem of him coming off the top rope on you. But he's still holding on. Oh, look at that. He got him with the left hand, throws him into the corner, throws him into the rope, whips him across, drop down. Oh, he got him with a shoulder block again. That's the second shoulder block. Now, what's this posing routine? Well, what, what do you expect me to say? Something? I don't know. Going for the cover. One, two. I Only a two count. I think he thinks he's Rick Rude, which means he hasn't looked in a mirror lately. Well, you never know. I don't, you know, it's not my problem to make that, you know, decision. Well, I mean, he wastes valuable time by doing stuff like that. So does Rick Rude, by the way. He certainly does, but Brutal Bob Evans is no Rick Rude. This is for sure. Just like y'all know James E. And thank the Lord for that. But don't ever insinuate that we're related in any way, shape, or form again. Well, whoever did, some fan came up to me, and because you wrote the graphic and said, Leonard Kaplan and James, no, so James E. and Leonard Kaplan, it looked like we both have the last name Kaplan. I explained this to you. Do you not listen to me? I don't care. I, I want to make sure people know that. Look at the cross Leap over here. Uh, Leap rock and then a nice hip toss on Evans. Drop kick by Max Moon on Evans. Incredible. Now, I give you an opportunity to speak and you shut up. What, what are you going? What are you doing here? I'm watching and I'm admiring the wrestling ability of these Oh, athletes. the people at home don't know that. Let's go. Whips him into the corner. Follows him in, maybe. Follows him in. Oh, nice reverse crescent kick. Evans is reverse in big what? trouble. Reverse crescent kick. Crescent? Crescent kick, that's like a, the food. That's a roll. I told you, that's it. We've had it all. You've been eating rolls. food, animals, that's it. We did the whole thing. We've run the cycle. We've run the gamut, if you will. Animal, vegetable, and mineral. I know you said it before. I thought it was pretty original. Because you have rocks in your head. That's where you get the minerals. That's where you get the minerals. That's okay. I don't mind as long as we get the whole cycle. You One, two. Mind having rocks. Put on the ropes. I think people out there do, though. I think I've got rocks in my stomach. I've got an ulcer. Everything else. That's because you're bothering me. That's because you never sleep. I don't sleep because you're always bothering me. No, you you're always calling sleep. me on the telephone. James E., do you think you could come over and maybe hang out with me for a while? No, unlikely. You don't get any sleep because of all the people that are after you. Cajun Cookie and, and Rick Cake. Lannon and Rich. all these people that you're insulting. I'm not insulting anybody. You're insulting everybody. Well, that's, you know, at least, just look at it this way. At least I'm not prejudiced. <laughs> well, yeah, you are against certain individuals. I hate everybody. No, you like the Slayer Brothers. I do like the Slayer Brothers. You don't, you, it's true you don't like Brutal Bob, and I thought you would. Well, see, you don't know me. You can't predict me. No. I can predict that you are going to be one very beat up, James E., if you keep up this kind of commentary. Oh, I'm not afraid. I've got my close personal friend, Frank Frank Fulton, that can take care of business for me. I thought you had no friends. Crossover. Yeah. I've got a lot of friends. Oh, it looks like he dropped the big knee right into the midsection of Max Moon. Evans is taking over on Max Moon, but wasting a lot of time showing off to the fans here at ringside. I agree, as Max Moon is on the ground, a very bad place for Max Moon to be. One. And then a kick out. Max Moon still has a lot, of, lot left. A lot of stuff left on the pad of Max Moon. But he's tired, I can see it. He's winning, he's breathing pretty hard. That's right, he's breathing pretty hard. He's in big trouble. Max Moon is getting ready to, I think, just about finish brutal Bob Evans here in this matchup. We're looking for a big car slam here from Evans. Evans still has something left in him. I can't believe this. Evans has, looks like a lot more left than Max Moon right now. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's because Evans is on a sugar high or something from all those donuts that he ate earlier. I didn't know that. Did you go with him? I did not go with him. You know with my ulcer, I can't have donuts. Okay, here we go. Evans. Big mistake. Oh, and he did it. Caught him with the big uh, forearm off the top with rope. Incredible. kind of moves. Two count only. Max Moon is maybe in big trouble here with Brutal Bob Evans. Brutal Bob Moon. I don't think so. He's trying to be. I don't think so. I think, uh-oh, I think he's going to try another Moon Uber like this. Now, he, wants to, he wants the title of Moon. He's going to take the uniform away from Max Moon. Uh-oh. Brutal Bob Moon. 
Watch bitten by Shy. Shouldn't have tried that move again. Definitely not. He's going to be feeling like he looks like he just ate some green apples here. I think he's in big, big trouble. Max Moon taking over on Brutal Bob Evans right about this moment. Got him with the right hand and another right hand to the midsection. Oh, whips him into the like corner. He ate the whole apple orchard. Whips him in. Oh, oh, got him with the big boot. Look out, coming off the top rope. Oh, look at that. He got him with a big kick. I think Moon is getting ready to finish him. Nice. Finish him. Brutal Bob still in that ring. Doesn't give up. One, a... two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, you can eight. count. Shamil. Shamil, ah, Pop and Step Incorporated. Seven. You can't go beyond seven, huh? Don't be insinuating you, anything. You Whips him into the corner, follows him in. Got him caught with a big boot. Evans is in big trouble. Here comes Moon. Oh, nice bulldog off the top rope. That's the end of it. It is. One, two, three. It's over. Bruno Bob Evans once again has lost to Max Moon in one of today's feature matches. My God, I love this. This is an incredible matchup. Lots of action. Brutal Bob Evans gets caught with the flying bulldog off the top rope. And Max Moon has once again won another match here in the New England Wrestling Federation. We'll be back right after this message.